Warriors, rise. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Coach JB, your top health, mindset, and crypto coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. Now, I want to come on and do this message. And these are uh, people enjoy these messages, but I'm just speaking from my heart. And I want to talk to you about something. And the question is, is it all over? Many of you keep asking me, is it over? Is the bull run over? Is the crypto market done? Is the stock market done? What is going on? Is it all over? Now, I want to ask you a question. What does that mean to you? Is it all over? And what are you seeking within the cryptocurrency space? What are you seeking within the investment space? And what are you seeking in order to become wealthy? Because the very thing that you're seeking is going to find you. But I want to share with you something really quickly that will help you tremendously as you move into this new quantum financial system, as you move into this new spiritual awakening, as you move into this new way that we're operating. And let's talk about this for just a moment. Before we go into, is it all over? I'm going to share with you my opinion. You have to understand, you need to understand this, that your whole world is shifting as you know it. And if you don't wake up to this reality, Warriors, it is going to be all over. If you do wake up to this reality, this could be the biggest change in your family's timeline. But let's look at the facts, figures, numbers, logic. Number one, we're moving from an earth paradigm to a quantum paradigm. Now, to break that down for people, listen to what I'm saying. We're moving from industrial, like buildings, gas, oil, to quantum computing, Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. Let's think about this for just a moment, how much our world's changed since 2006. Back in 2006, 2007, 2008, we had MySpace. And now as we sit in 2022, we have TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, we have Oculus. You can go into the metaverse now. Our worlds have changed dramatically. Think about your bank account, right? Bank accounts, we used to write checks, debit cards, and they brought in credit cards. Then we got online banking, and I was just sitting in a bank two days ago, three days ago, excuse me, and it said on his shirt, it's happening, happening, quantum. They're moving everybody into digital wallets. It's happening. That's what their shirt said, Okay. We are also going through a big spiritual awakening. Some people call it the rapture. Some people call it the great awakening. Some people call it the great reset. So in the financial space, okay, they're saying it's the great reset. Okay, In the spiritual world, the great awakening. And some people in the religious sector call it the rapture. I think we can all agree that things are changing. People are starting to get more depressed, more anxiety, more stressed out. People are gaining weight uh, at rapid paces right now. Opiate abuse is through the roof. Suicide is through the roof. So the question is, is it all over? This is what I want you to think about if you've made it this far. If you think it's all over, you're right. If you believe this is the greatest time in human history, you're right. Because you've been bred into a system to believe that the sky is falling at all times. When actually nothing is happening except your acceptance of the current reality that you're facing. And the current reality that you're facing that is in front of your face and you're currently experiencing is the thoughts, actions, and behaviors up to this point. Many of you are, are going to not digest this, but please listen to what I'm saying. If you can take in the reality that I'm presenting to you right now, this will literally change your life. It's how I went from a drug addict 16 years ago to financial freedom and where I'm at right now. And let's take away the financial freedom. I bring that up because that's a trigger for people, right? I am already free. If all my money goes away, I'm already free. It's never over for me. It's always beginning. So no, it's not over for me, but it's over for many because it's the paradigm that you're accepting within your current reality that's been passed down from generation to generation to generation. You have to listen to what I'm saying, Warriors. The thing that you're experiencing within your physical reality is a deep-rooted subconscious mind programming that's been passed down from your grandparents to your parents to you. Now, your grandparents most likely went through the Great Depression. So a lot of your subconscious mind programming and the predictive programming has been passed down to you through your parents. So if your parents' grandparents got crushed in the Great Depression, 
then you have a lot of those behaviors and a lot of those reactive behaviors that are showing up within your current paradigm. And that's why people are emotionally addicted to the market. They're so stressed about their 401k. They're in a survival mode versus a thriving mode. So is it over? Absolutely not. It's just beginning. And what is just beginning is a brand new way of doing your finances, of interacting with human beings, of how you can access spirituality. There's so many different ways to look at this words. But if you can understand right now that you are the cause and effect of everything happening within your life, you will always be the market. You will always be wealthy. You can end up being healthy in abundance. But here's what happened. In the 1900s, during the progressive era, there was a group of very wealthy people that realized, now we could back up for just a moment. Let's take out nefarious out of it. What if they thought, hey, we're doing great for people, but let's just walk through what factually happened and why we are where, we're all, where we are and what we can do about it as we move forward. So what factually happened in the 1900s, very, very wealthy family that got wealthy off of earth paradigm, oil, okay? And during the oil industry, they realized that you could use oil for things like pharmaceuticals. Whoa. Okay. So if you're holistically healing people, but we can use oil for pharmaceuticals, hmm, maybe we can change the narrative where we can treat symptoms versus problems. Because if people don't, if they solve their problems, there's no monetary game within the system. So first, they got a hold of our healthcare system. So they were able to use the oil to build pharmaceuticals in order to treat symptoms instead of the problem and create victims. Okay, But how would you do that? So in order to get doctors to treat just symptoms, you have to change the education and subconscious mind programming. So within that paradigm, you can do all this research yourself. I'm not going to say any names because I want this video to reach as many people as possible. But go do your own research. I'm not asking you to trust a word I say. Trust the feeling and vibration it creates in your body and act accordingly. So your healthcare system, and this is why a lot of you think it's over because of this, that I'm getting to my point. So the healthcare system, right? So now you're treating symptoms, not problems. So you have a lot of victims. So you got the healthcare system on lock and a lot of people who are holistic healers, people that were doing things uh, from the inside out were determined quacks. That was a, uh, a word that was brought for quacks. They call them quacks. A lot of many of those people got arrested in that time for practicing holistic um, Eastern type medicine, right? Okay. So number one, they got the healthcare system. So they turned us all into sick victims. Number two, they took care of the education system. They turned us into workers not educated people. Some people are quoted saying that. I want a society of workers, not educating people. That's why a lot of you think it's over. That's why you think it's not beginning. And if you can accept this, this will change your life. If you're resisting this, you're not the person that should be watching this, okay? Allow this to sink in. So they taught us to be workers, not educated people. They put us into a schooling system where we got a grade point average for memorizing. Okay. That's why I did not do well in school. I struggled through school. I have dyslexia. I really, really struggled. So I wasn't one of the top people in my class. Right. But I had all these creative ideas and all this stuff that just didn't matter because they trained us to be workers, not educated people. So now they're treating symptoms, not problems, turning us into victims. They're not giving us the tools and resources as very young children being programmed to solve problems. So now you have people who are not problem solvers, who are just workers, that always believe it's over, that are victims that treat symptoms and not problems. So we don't deal with our problems, and we're in an education system that doesn't allow us to figure out that we have a problem because we're not problem solvers. We're just memorizers that get a grade point average that are sick and we're in a vicious cycle. Well, that's the second thing. Well, let's go to the third. If we can change their financial system and teach them that debt, that bad debt is great. The American dream, the American dream. Get your home loan, your auto loan and your credit card and live the American dream. So now you're taking your prescription pills to solve a symptom, not the problem. You're put into an indoctrination system to teach you how to memorize, not to solve or be creative and fix those problems. You're working for someone or a CEO that didn't even graduate college that just started business and understand entrepreneurship. Okay. And you have politicians who just went through education and have no real world experience. That's a whole other story. Okay. 
So now we talked about our financial system. Now our financial system back in 1971, this is why many of you think it's over because you're inbred into a system that taught you to be a victim. Okay. Now you got victim state of mind with your healthcare. You got a non-problem solving uh, uh, programming in the education system. And in 1971, they come on programming, television programming, President Nixon detaches you from the gold standard. They take you off the gold standard. They make your money worthless. And since 1971 to today, 2022, your dollar, it takes the $7 to buy the same thing that a dollar did back in 1971. But your pay hasn't gone up that much. Your productivity has, extremely has. You don't work a nine to five anymore. You're working 16 hours a day. Your boss doesn't care how many hours you work just as long as you get the job done. So now you're trapped in debt. Now you got to understand, warriors, your debt is someone else's salary. That's just how it works. We're in a debt, pure debt-based society. So is it over? Yes, for many of you, it's over because you believe it's over. You've been indoctrinated into a system that has taught you to be emotional and not problem solve through these markets. So in my paradigm, it's just beginning that we are now in a new paradigm, Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. And we get the opportunity as investors to be involved at the ground floor, just like they were in the 1900s in the progressive area. There's a small group. You're a small percentage of the population. You realize that, right? You're like 0.0000% of 7 billion people in the world that are actually watching this and paying attention to this. Now you're at this foundation where you get to be one of the decision makers and pick the winners and losers in a new quantum system. So what I ask my warriors to do is to pull yourself up from the micro to the macro. So it's just getting started. It is not over. We are investing in the new technologies, a new infrastructure of a new world. But more importantly, everything is changing. Everything is changing. And if you understand that it's from the inside out, not the outside in, you right now as you sit can completely take control of your paradigm. The number one thing you need to start changing is your wealth programming. Because you've been programmed by your grandparents from the Great Depression. So if you're not wealthy right now, you were born into a system that taught you your level of money, your acumen in money. So you have to understand that money is just currency. It's a frequency. So if you're always broke, you're just accessing that level of frequency. You're just following the same pattern. So those patterns need to be broken by first saying, no, it's not over. It's just beginning. So that's your first step is to really start to reprogram your subconscious mind through your thoughts. Once you start to reprogram your subconscious mind through your thoughts, you got to understand that it's that's head, that's ego. We got to move from the ego down into the heart. Then you need to start to reprogram the heart and helping the heart understand that you are already wealthy. You were already healthy. You are already abundant. You are already worthy. So no, it's not over warriors. It's just beginning. And if you are still watching this, you are a true generational shifter and a warrior. I am here for one purpose and one purpose only. I've been guided. I, I believe I've been guided through uh, uh, some sort of divine guidance. I feel I'm divinely protected, divinely directed. I love God. Love God. I love the life of Jesus. I'm non-religious. I accept everybody as you are. I don't care if you're Church of Latter-day Saints, Catholic, uh, Jehovah Witness. I love you because I have no judgment of you. I'm just, you're just a reflection of me and I'm just doing the best I can. And I see within my physical paradigm, I attract a lot of really cool people into my life. No wars. It's not over. It's just beginning. So I'm going to ask you to pull yourself into a 30,000 foot overview and ask yourself, could you be patient enough for 10 years? Could you be patient enough for 10 years to be patient, to be persistent, to be free the rest of your life? But here's the thing. You've been patient enough in a shitty relationship for 10 years. You've been patient enough to have that extra weight on your body for 10 to 15 years. You've been patient enough to be in a shitty job that you hate for 10 to 15 years, but you're not patient enough to sit in a market for three to five to 10 years to have your whole rest of your life be free. So remember, warriors, it's not over. It's just beginning. So I love you very, very much, warriors. This, this whole channel was created from love. My podcast was created from love. Our Warrior Academy is created from love. So I hope that you'll join us on this journey of freedom and knowing that no, it's not over. It's just beginning. I hope that you'll join us on this abundance journey, walking arm in arm together as warriors all over the world, working to change people's lives one person at a time. We can complain about all the nefarious people we want and be an armchair quarterback, just like most of you watching football on Sunday and you're yelling at the quarterback. Then go fucking try out for the team and get in the game. 
Stop sitting on your couch. Stop yelling at the TV. Stop yelling at the nefarious people. And if you have the solution, just like you do on Monday Night Football or Sunday night, then get in the game, Warriors. I have the solution. I will be a billionaire, and I will bring the money back to the people. I can boldly say that because I already know what I believe in my heart, I think in my mind will eventually become my words and become my reality. If I can see it in my mind, eventually I can hold it right here in my hands. What I repeatedly do gets ingrained in my subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in my subconscious mind becomes my unconscious activity. So I'm not ex surprised that I'm experiencing the abundance that I'm experiencing now. But what I'm surprised is most people don't see how easy it is. And if I can do it, you can do it. That's what I'm here to do is make the complex simple. So from my family to yours, I love you. I appreciate you. Even the haters, I love you even more. Actually, I don't love you more. I love you equally. You feel that? That's called love. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go.